Good morning, beautiful Colorado. Nico, how you doing down there? Oh, it is like May 9th and it's freaking snowing. Welcome to Colorado Spring. It's beautiful though. I love the snow. Nico, how are you, huh? Okay, well, there we go. Already peeling off. That's fun. We need you, cause snow. What month is it again? This is the perfect snowball snow though. Wow. Unfortunately, there's absolutely no accumulation on the road. Go in there and there and there. Definitely is better when you actually have your snow scraper so that it doesn't all fall in, but you don't always have it, especially when you think that you're done with your snow scraper and it's in the trunk. That was useless. Good. Okay. Wow, look at that fogged windshield. All right. Oop, I can't show you that. Turn on that defrost. Taking its time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. If you're new to the channel, this is Tesla's Wild and my name is Colin. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do truly appreciate it. For those of you that are returning subscribers, you are the best. Thank you so much for your support. This is just so great. All right, well, I just uploaded a video about using autopilot in the rain. Um, and now, of course, it's May 9th and we got a Colorado Spring snowstorm, as it would be. So, uh, we're gonna do some autopilot in the snow. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's not really accumulated at all. Uh, we did get like four inches or so, so far. I'm supposed to get another two inches throughout the day, but um, yeah, it didn't accumulate, so the roads are just wet, ultimately but uh, we'll still do some playing around and see how it goes. All right, well, I will stop jabbering here and we'll get right into the point of view autopilot in the snow. I will try and film a better one if we get an opportunity where the snow is actually accumulating on the roads. All right, so first of all, let's see how well this thing grips in these kind of wet, colder conditions. It's 38 degrees outside. The uh, roads are just wet primarily, but um, yeah, let's see. All right, zero and off we go. Oop. Absolutely no slippage whatsoever. <laughs> This car just grips like none other, I swear. Just for perspective, my floor mat came falling down, but the tires didn't slip at all. So I was able to dislodge my floor mat, but not, not do anything with the tire. The turbine obviously fell behind the screen there. All right, so service, darn it, turbine, stay up there, right there, okay? You stay right there. Okay. And autopilot is on. This is a good, this is a good section of the road to test it on because we've got a pretty tight curve up here. Uh, there's a bunch of people around. I am ready to take over as always. So we're gonna turn this on constant because these auto wipers suck. I just don't know, they just can't do it. All right, so here's the turn. See how it goes. No hands, but I'm ready. Wow, look how well it does. That is great. Going up to 60. Oh, okay. Little adjustment there. Uh, it does not let you re reset the TPMS sensors while you're driving. That makes sense. Although I would have enjoyed uh, trying that out here. Okay, all right, so it's struggling definitely a little bit more than it was in the rain, that's for sure. All right, so still, um, let's go to work, navigating to work. Um, navigate on autopilot is on. Okay, so we are coming up to a stoplight here. Slowing down, but no hands as always. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So 
So it's having some trouble. I assume it's probably from buildup on the autopilot cameras. Um, maybe some buildup on the sensors, but let's do a lane change here. Pretty good. Okay. Definitely a bit more sketchy. Okay. Still no hands. Poor weather detected, navigate on autopilot unavailable. Uh, that's the same thing we saw in the rain. Probably a good thing, so. See how this merging section goes here. Keep my hands floating, but ready to take over if needed. Apply slight turning to the steering wheel. Okay, interesting. So it didn't say apply a slight pressure, it said apply a slight turn to the steering wheel. So was it asking for assistance? Whoa. Okay, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> so we have everything is limited right now. The uh, cruise control cannot be turned on. It says the front camera visibility is limited. Um, so we might reset here and see if we can't get those to turn back on camera visibility reduced all right well interesting All right, so I think the problem is that it's actually fogged inside of the camera housing up here. So it's just not able to see out of that front camera. Did not know that was an issue, now I do. Maybe if we turn defrost on like full blast. Okay. Oh, turbine. We're gonna have to figure out a way to secure you up there. Okay, now we're good. So the defrost did help. So we'll get this back on once I'm back on the highway. Maybe we'll get lucky and these people will not uh, get back on the highway with us and we can have some more fun accelerating. Good, 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 yes. Oh, turbine, you are annoying. Whee! All right, so I guess there's actually not a lot to show right now. It's not snowing, the lines are extremely visible, the roads are barely wet, um, no snowpack or anything like that. So uh, we're gonna cut this video out right here uh, this afternoon when I'm off work. I might film some more if we get some more snow or if I go somewhere where there's actually snow on the roads. But for now, that's it. We'll see you in a little while. So all of these sudden uh, navigate on autopilot did turn on. Not sure what triggered it or allowed it to turn on, but uh, it did turn on. So apparently it thinks the weather is good enough for it to turn on. So as a reference, uh, you can see how wet the roads are and what it looks like out here. But uh, yeah, it did turn on and it seems like, all right, so we're gonna do the no confirmation lane change right now, doing it. Nice. Oh, okay. Navigate on autopilot currently unavailable. So, wonder if it just shut off because the weather, who knows. Doing some weird things, but. Okay. Uh, apparently it's back on. Gonna do the exit here. Okay. Okay. Better than the rain yesterday. Okay, that would have been off road there. So that was not good. All right, well, we have made it home. I hope this video provided a little bit of insight into how autopilot performs when it's snowing outside 
As you saw, it wasn't the craziest of snowstorms. The road was not even snow packed. It was just slightly wet. Uh, we did have some experiences with the cameras getting a little bit glitchy there in the snow. Mainly turned out to be the front facing camera getting a little bit fogged over and turning on the defrost worked. Um, overall, the autopilot performed pretty well. There were a few sketchy, definitely worse than it performed in the pouring rain from my previous video, which is a little bit curious because it wasn't nearly as bad of conditions in my opinion. I don't know if we're going to get another chance to shoot a autopilot in the snow video before next winter. If we do, I'll make sure to do it, but if not, I'll do a better and more comprehensive video of using autopilot in the snow when there's probably actually snow on the road and it's uh, snow packed and we'll see how it does instead of just wet, which is basically rain all over again. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was at least informative. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like and subscribe button. It is so important and it truly means the world to me. We're doing so well and I cannot wait to see where this channel goes. All right, as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time.